Hey guys, well, how's it going? So apparently what I read that Spider-Man Far From Home starts filming on Monday. Uh, now we know that Mysterio is going to be in this new movie. And um, apparently Jake Gyllenhaal is going to play him. Now, um, when it comes to Mysterio, it, I always had mixed feelings about the character. It wasn't like a huge, huge threat to Spider-Man. Uh, especially in the older comics, um, i.e. there. It, it was just, I always thought Mysterio was this joke of a character, because like, look at his costume. Like, you got a purple cape, you got, like, a weird, I don't know, green jumpsuit with a fishbowl on your head. You know, and that, the best thing that Mysterio could do was trick Spider-Man and then Spider-Man would punch him in his head and get knocked out. He wasn't like a super powered being. He's just a special effects artist. And uh, that, and so when they when they said that they're going to introduce Mysterio into the MCU, I'm a little skeptical when it comes to this. Um, as as much as I love Spider-Man and whatnot, but as a a villain, uh, I think they could do a little bit more. I would love to see the Chameleon. Um, maybe bring in Rhino, but maybe when they're doing, um, oh my god, uh, the Sinister Six, they can, you know, add more characters. Maybe even Craven. Craven would be a good matchup, but not the Craven that's like the MCU, uh, no, the Ultimate Craven, where he's just a guy. Um, Craven was someone that in the regular comics, he was beefed up on some sort of like juice like, um, Black Panther. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, so there's the 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 weird costume Mysterio. Now, what what version I love of Mysterio is in the Ultimate uh, Spider-Man universe. He he's just so oh, like a 180 character in this one. He he's a little bit more badass, and he doesn't have the fishbowl head on it. Now uh, he's introduced in the Spider-Man Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. A world according to Peter Parker. This is volume one. Uh, he gets introduced in here. Now, now uh, same uh, background. He is a special effects artist, but he's more. Uh, he's, he's a lot more sinister in this one. Um, like he'll he'll kill. He doesn't give a shit. He'll kill. So. Uh, so there's a big uh, bank robbery, and everyone thinks there's a horde of spiders coming to kill everybody, like Spider Island. And uh, everyone thinks Spider Man is this huge spider. But what I love about this new Mysterio is that he does not have the fishbowl head. It's like this misty, like foggy, like illusion there Spider-Man does try uh, to get him now see his head is gone there but it comes back so that's that's a good way to get rid of that fishbowl um, knockout because Spider-Man really has to work for this one and Mysterio is a master at the the illusion this special effects like a million times more I'm really impressed with this version and I hope I really hope that um, uh, the sequel to Spider-Man ups their game with uh, with Mysterio and even the Vulture I, I don't know how they're gonna do a Vulture when he's in prison maybe uh, Mysterio breaks him out Maybe he has a deal with the uh, with tombs there. So uh, Spider-Man's on this bridge and he thinks the Hulk's attacking. Now, what what's really great about this is that the Hulk is causing damage. Uh, he is uh, breaking up the bridge, but when Spider-Man tries to hit him, nothing seems to happen. No, the web shooters just go through, um, and uh, you can see that the beams are just going straight through him. So he is an illusion, but it's just great how Mysterio was able to convince everybody that the Hulk is destroying this bridge and uh, 
Yeah, he wins. He gets the upper hand on Spider-Man here. So, I really love this one. <clears throat> now, only way um, uh, Mysterio is defeated is from Kitty Pride because she can mess with his uh, electronics like, like she does in the regular comics. Like, she phase through stuff and just muck up all the all the electronics on him. So he does get the shit kicked out of him briefly. But there he is. He kind of just zips off. I wonder if Jake Gyllenhaal will shave his head bald. <laughs> I wonder. But what's awesome about this one is that he created the Spider Slayer. So uh, after their battle, he notices that there's some blood on his armor. And he uses that to create this huge Hulk and Spider Slayer. It's awesome. I love it. But uh, I won't tell you how it ends. But really, pick this one up. Pick this one up and pick up Death of Spider-Man Prelude. Um, another Mysterio, uh, not the, not the whole thing, but it does um, he does team up with uh, Black Cat in this one. Where is it? Yeah. So there's Black Cat. And what's cool about this is that uh, she's trying to kill Kingpin. Um, they have history together, but uh, Mysterio kind of just ices him and becomes the new Kingpin, which is pretty awesome. And they're looking for uh, the Scorpion Key, I believe. Yeah. And yeah, they kind of work together, but they don't. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Yeah, so pick up uh, Volume 1, and this is Volume... It doesn't say. It just says uh, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man Death of Spider-Man Prelude. So I think this is Volume 3? 4? But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I got a new mic, so hopefully everything's picking up. I have to re-listen to it all over again to see if I actually got everything. But uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you guys are excited about the new Spider-Man coming out. I know I am, uh, even though some people don't think the the title's pretty pretty good. Um, I don't mind the title really. Uh, Far from home seems all right with me. I, I don't know what the big deal about it. Uh, so yeah, just leave a comment, throw me a like, if you have not yet subscribed, please do, and as always guys, I love you, and I will talk to you later.